Hello, it's been a while. Um, I've decided to do a video. Um, not have enough time, but uh, I'm gonna try and make a quick video to show you how to do butt fusion fittings. Anybody using butt fusion fittings? How do you author them? How do you uh, drop these so that you take into account um, pipe lengths uh, before and after welding? Depending on complexity and detail you need, there are a couple of approaches to take here. Um, on the simplest form would be to just ignore the differences before and after the pipe welding. That's what I do. Uh, but you can take it all the way and create your excess welding material as eye futures uh, that you can drop on each fitting you author. On my plant layout, I'm always ignoring them because we tend to have plenty of space and uh, differences can be ignored. Quite simply, on a 10 meter pipe, the assembled tolerance will take into account any variation um, on welding or thermal expansion or so on and so on. So unless you're designing, I don't know, medical equipment um, or any other precise tight tolerances equipment, I would not bother. Um, I would keep this close at hand uh, just in case uh, you, need, you need to do a rendering or you've got a client that specifically wants to see these welds in place. And I would just ignore this the rest of the time. You're probably fine. On the simple side, quick and dirty, if you need to have a proper exact cut to length dimensions and bill of material reports, then you need to over define your engagement dimensions so that the parts interfere, therefore reporting correct pipe length and correct root dimensions, node to node. So what do I mean by that? Is node to node, yeah? Uh, when you detail this on a drawing, you will have proper distance dimension after welding, but the pipe itself will report correct length as well before welding yeah. for your cut to length lists. If you do need to get all that detail exact and you have all the time in the world, I would suggest that you do the fusion as an eye future that you can drop on each uh, fitting. Make the eye future table driven so you can choose and change size on the fly. And you can take it down another level if you want and calculate the lost volume from the melting, from the cutout and generate your well bed based on that but I think it's too much it, it all depends on what sort of equipment you do so what do I mean by overdefining your engagement well we've got this union and let's just look at the author table ignore this for a second on the author table our engagement is joined and I'm having distance of 1.25 millimeters um, and the engagement should be exactly our, our distance there meaning if you can see yeah that's the end of the union and that's where the pipe will be so cancel that let's come back to the assembly for a second um, change this to part sorry The pipe and the union are overlapping. So the pipe reports a full length and the union reports a full length. Uh, but in total, if you measure the, the nodes, then you will have proper distances as well. So just by overlapping the geometry here, you can have a proper cut to length value in bill of materials um, but the root itself will have the correct distances in between the nodes 
on its most simple form if you need to I don't even use this I don't do it at all uh, the melting is so small and we have plenty of space there's never tight confined uh, fighting for millimeters and that's when you author simple fittings but if it needs to be an iPad and you want to send it to content center or you want to use it later then I would suggest that let's just look in here for a second where are we where are we that's right this is the one so if you if you want to have this as a family table content center or not this is an i part now i would suggest that you create planes parameter driven yes fusion distance so that you can have a different engagement for each member of the family and in the author table you just specify two plane point and choose your plane this way on a different diameter you can have a different length a different over overlapping value otherwise if you ch just say uh, distance it'll be the same distance which is not correct And then you can take it down another level um, and have a cut on the fitting and add the weld. This is not quite correct because normally it's not quite circular and you will have one underneath and you would probably need to add another one uh, of, for the pipe. This is just welding and material melting on the fitting. So normally this is um, not round and you need to have another one on the other side and the other fitting otherwise you end up with uh, just one weld which is not correct um, it will most likely look something like this i'm removing a bit of material here and if you want to go into that much of detail i'm actually calculating how much material is in here lost and i'm calculating the radius in order to have the same material there I will never use this but I'm just proving the case here and then I would extract this um, as eye futures so you can drop them real quick when needed my recommendation is if you do extract it as an eye future uh, and you do create it, uh, create an um, author table. I would suggest that you save the iFuture with and without the table because once you've added the table, you you cannot edit the iFuture. You need to delete the table in order to edit the iFuture, and then you need to alter it again. So anyway, um, old habit. I keep both before and after adding the table. And then, obviously, you have it and you can insert it as an eye future. And um, most important, you can change the size on the fly. Now, I don't recommend that you add these on the pipe. And I don't recommend that you um, republish your conduit, your pipes to content center. I'm using it for socket welding, for a lot of the different connections and just add these on the fittings. And this is it. Um, don't just uh, stop there. Uh, you can use the over engagement on any of the uh, any other uh, stuff you can think of. Uh, things like uh, seals and gasket uh, thanks to chris banner for the idea or expansion joints or any other stuff that you you need you, you have different dimensions before and after assemble till next time bye bye